Coach Moore, uh, first off, can you tip your hat a little bit? Let's see what you got there. That's pretty nice. It looks good on you. You know that? It looks good. Um, it would be better if it was like gray and more like Lock Haven cover, colors. Yeah. But this has been a long time coming for you. You left the University of Virginia, what, five years ago? Uh, seven years ago. Seven years? It's been that long? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This has been a long time coming for you. This is a building process. You're able to pick up your first team championship. First one in 21 years. Yep. You guys won in 97, right? Last Correct. time you won it? Yep. Now you guys get another win. You went away. You pulled away. Guys really put it together. You know, a chance takes a tough loss, but the guys he trains with, Clucker. How huge was the Clucker? Did that begin the tsunami for you guys? Yeah, knowing you know his potential going out and uh, a rematch from from a door earlier this year, exact same position that he was able to pin the guy in this weekend. Uh, he got in trouble when last time and it cost him the match. But, you know, his aggressiveness, his strength enabled him to power Shomo's over and get that pin. And, and I think it kickstarted the team. I mean, getting the pin in the finals against uh, a guy that you're not supposed to beat, I think that says it all. You know, he set the tone, bonus points, momentum, team morale. I mean, all those things come together. And, you know, that's what a complete team effort today with with all the way up and down the lineup. You know, Spawn Seller coming back from injury six weeks ago, taking third place. You know, all the way up, all the way down. These guys fought hard. They deserved it. Uh, been a long time coming. Been a long building process. Starting to figure it all out. And uh, definitely proud of these guys tonight. How many qualifiers to Cleveland for you guys? Six. Right now? Right. Who's got a chance of getting a wild card? Um, I don't know that we have many guys in that spot right now with six, with six um, guaranteed. Uh, you know, a couple other guys. Luke Warner took fourth. Tristan Sponseller third. So, you know, it's going to be a long shot. But... You know, six guys guaranteed right now is definitely uh, something to be proud of. What was the performance of the day for you? Who, who really just, like, put the exclamation on it for you? Uh, you know, obviously the champions. Got to give them a shout-out. You know, winning under pressure. Uh, Ronnie Perry, 100 wins on a career. Second EWL title. Alex Clucker, we talked about him getting a pin. I mean, I think that's the win of the day. Uh, Corey Hazel coming up big in the finals. Same match. Uh, same Matt that he beat Bullsack on for PSAC. So just clutch performances for those guys. And obviously Tristan Sponseller, uh, last match of his career against the Edinburgh opponent to really help seal the win. Uh, coming back from really not even knowing if he's going to finish the season with his injury and coming back and getting that win. I think it's just, it really is a team effort from freshmen all the way to our, our seniors and Ronnie Perry. I look at it and uh, now your two best guys are obviously transfers. Chance he takes a loss in the finals to in a one minute riding time. I haven't seen that one lately. <laughs> yeah. So Chance loses a tough match with a guy he dominated earlier in the year, and then Thomas, a guy who he's beaten a bunch of times. They take a lot of tough losses. You've really built up nice around those guys. But what does it say about those other guys who picked it up and stepped up and won in those matches? Yeah, I mean you have leaders, and, and these those guys have been leaders. They've been consistent, and you know obviously today they took tough losses. Um, you know, Chance had a tough match with Walsh, wasn't feeling 100%, went out, competed hard. You know, he'll be ready for NCAs, and same with Thomas Haynes. I mean, those guys uh, have uh, delivered all year and done a great job for us. And, you know, but at the end of the day, it's a team effort. You know, when you have guys coming out, winning big matches and, and wrestling tough, like Kyle Shoot. I mean, that's a, a great performance at a really tough weight class, coming back and taking third. Um, you know, there's guys in there just just got tough today and figured it out. And when you can put a total team performance together and, you have those solid guys, six guys going to nationals. This is a proud moment for our program. It's something we're going to be talking about for a long time. Can Chance still win? Is it, can he still be the guy? Absolutely. You know, that's, a, that's a, t a tight match, one minute of riding time. He was probably 70%, 80% today, you know. So that's something he just toughed it out, found a way to compete. And, you know, we got 10, 12 days until a national tournament. So we're going to be uh, take a day or two off, rest, recover, get ready to peak for the NCAs. All right, Coach, you guys got a long ride back home. You got anything else for me? Yeah, we'll see you at Nationals. Congratulations, see you in Cleveland.